My name is Yago Biadali. Uh, I'm a fiction writer from Iran. And uh, uh, I write story, novel and short story. In my country, uh, you should fight uh, to stay alive as a writer. And you should fight in order to write and uh, publish your books. I'm not talking about the government rules. Before that, uh, you have to deal with some things uh, like uh, your family, your job, uh, sometimes your people, and uh, and some uh, traditions. Uh, I would like uh, to be positive about this. Of course, uh, the best thing about being a writer is uh, the peace of mind. Uh, you know, uh, the peace of mind uh, as a result of writing. I mean. And this piece of mind comes from writing itself, not from my country. Uh, my life uh, has been a crisis in my country. And, uh, and I'm used to living and writing in crisis and uh, fighting uh, everything for writing. But uh, answering to this question uh, can be difficult. Uh, if I want to be honest, uh, I will be accused of uh, not writing my country. Uh, uh, you know, there are many nice things uh, in my country. Beautiful nature, uh, ancient civilization and uh, historical monuments, and also delicious foods. Uh, beautiful songs, but uh, you can find all of this in some of other countries too. Uh, I would like to talk about uh, special things, uh, about uh, Cyrus Cylinder. The Cyrus Cylinder uh, is an ancient uh, clay cylinder uh, which is written uh, a text about human rights on it. Cyrus uh, was an Iranian king uh, who was ruling Iran democratically about 2,500 years ago. And uh, this cylinder now is kept in the British Museum in London. Uh, many, be many believe uh, that uh, the Cyrus Cylinder uh, is the world's first uh, declaration of human rights. Uh, and sometimes I think um, the Cyrus Cylinder can be a, a bitter uh, historic humor as well. Uh, the, uh, the fact that uh, there was a, a democracy in Iran about 2,500 years ago. Uh, when I write the last sentence of my novel <laughs> and uh, uh, this moment uh, is deeply uh, joyful for me uh, by writing the last sentence of uh, the novel uh, the pain of writing ends I uh, you know uh, writing a novel takes a lot of time and writer uh, takes off a piece of his soul uh, and attempts to uh, transform it uh, into words. And this process is very painful, I think. Uh, there is uh, another uh, happy moment in my writing. Uh, when I hear from my publisher that uh, my novel uh, has been approved by the government for publication. Uh, 
Uh, in Iran, writers have to send their works uh, to the Ministry of Culture and Islamic Guidance to give uh, permission for publication. And uh, sometimes hearing that uh, a novel uh, has been approved, uh, it's uh, more uh, satisfying more satisfying than writing the novel itself. No, not regularly. Uh, sometimes I read poetry uh, if I uh, have enough time or free time for that. Iowa City is a quiet place uh, with kind people uh, and of course uh, it has been selected uh, as the world's uh, city of literature by UNESCO and during these days uh, I'm spending uh, one of the quietest uh, and most inspiring periods of my life here. Uh, and uh, over the past two decades of my life, uh, I have never felt uh, this uh, relaxed as a writer. Uh, and uh, because of this, uh, uh, it's a unique experience for me. And because of this, uh, I must uh, thank the IWP and also Christopher Miller for giving me this chance.